least have two characters if it uses Blizzard. Hey look, it's Shinryu's brother. I don't know if speed drink is the right way to go. I might giant drink everyone instead. Give the ice shields to Bart and Reyna. Bart's and Reyna. Because he uses Blizzard a lot. I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe... Instead of buffing everyone, I just buff Bart's and Reyna at first. Give them both shell. Maybe I can take advantage of his gambling addiction. What if that's the answer? Maybe you have to use roulette yourself. And it just hits him and he dies. spell is more impressive, Meteo or Meteor? I mean, Meteor, like, blows up planets, right? But Meteo is pretty cool. That's a lot of damage. Meteo sounds like something from Chef Boyardee. Do I have two ice shields or one? Okay, so we're gonna cast Shell on Barts and Reyna instead of buffing up the bottom two. Oh shoot. I didn't realize you don't have white. That's right, because I gave you Fleet. mix instead of using an item. Uh, that was 
was weird. Why didn't it do damage to those two? Uh, holy water, Phoenix down on you. Actually, like almost survived that. level with the ground. Well, I mean, Bart's is like, maybe okay. I think these were the ones that stacked, so I'm gonna use them a couple times. And I wanna also use some more of this, because this might stack, I'm not sure, but. much I can do to protect myself from the physical attacks, but... Alright, let's see if he has any terrible counters. 
which there's a good chance he does. Don't know if Holy's gonna do any damage or not. I don't have attack, so that's a bit of a yikes, but... Yeah, that heals. I kinda had a feeling he looks like a big Holy dragon. So... How about that? Oh, I did it to myself. did more than I thought it would, though. How do you... What, how do you... What, how does he... Wait, how do... What, and then what... How do we... But then what... Then how do we do... What... When does... When... How... Okay. <laughs> okay. holy damage. I'll have to do, like, maybe Maz and Moon. And Ice Shield. And Ribbon and Coring. Okay, question for the chat, is unequipping the coral ring a terrible idea or what? Because I'm thinking if I unequip the coral ring, I could equip the protect ring, and then just revive him when he dies to, because he never used tidal wave a second time, but it sounds like you guys know. <laughs> Sounds like you guys know that he uses it more than once. Well, no, only he would die, and I could just revive him. The question is, does he ever use... Does he ever use Tidal Wave a second time? That's my question. Because if he doesn't, then... Yeah. Yes, All right. we'll just leave it then. I kind of want him in the back row for those physical attacks that do so much damage. I'm gonna do no damage. How's it going, Mr. Fuzzy? I absolutely loved this game. I don't know if... I don't know what rating I would give it, but... 10 out of 10 would die to Shinryu again. I'm wondering how Rain got hit by level 3 Flare at level 44. Ah, screw you, that's why. 
Screw me, that's why. him to get his turn so fast. It's kind of weird. Attack, that's pretty much it. Then I'm back to where I was. And I can just do more of that. Oh, I do need... I need Dragon Tear also. Which is a bit annoying, so I gotta do this. Because I forgot to move it. I don't know why it showed up all the way on the bottom, I guess. Like, why didn't it show up there, though? There was, like, another empty spot that it didn't go to. Protest. Oh my god. Afraid of like how much those physical attacks are gonna do. Yeah, I'm in front row now. They hurt. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go in the back. That's too much damage. Oh no way! Are you kidding? A hundred health, dude. Big annoying. guys remember what which mix did electric defense? I know we found it. I think it was like I think it was like dragon I thought it was dragon fang and then something random like eye drop. 
Iron Knight. Wait, maybe it was Phoenix Down. Yeah! Okay. And then also... What does Phoenix Down... Oh, I left it. I was gonna see what Cornucopia did, but I think I left it at the bottom on accident. Can you not use Cornucopia? Oh, I guess you can. Okay, all right. No, my runner away or die, or no, turned into a zombie. Even worse. Had to zombie the one person that can run away. I told you, man. This game is sentient. It truly is. Alright, so I could do... <laughs> this brain sucks. Do Phoenix down, I drop. It's personalized, like Super Mario 64. We're gonna go down the Final Fantasy V uh, iceberg. Well, at this point, I'd be willing to listen to any kind of crazy theory. It didn't hit Bart's last time. What? It didn't Pretty hit good. last. It didn't hit last time. Maybe you just no, because I I know he used it and it hit Krill, but not Bart. If I seriously have to do this next week just because I have to go up one level with Bart so he doesn't get hit with Flare, I'm going to be so annoyed. Like, if that's what keeps us from finishing this week.
because of stupid level 3 flare. Which again, I'm very interested to hear. Like, if you're level 99, do you just lose this fight? Like, what? <laughs> what is that garbage? down. Okay, so I don't know what it is I'm casting to make it not hit him, but something I did. Maybe life shield. And you do eye drop phoenix down, and then... Potentially something else. Stop! God dang it. One more mix, dude. Just let me do it. Please. I'm begging you here. Every time! It's literally her turn! Game self-aware! Dude, this is so obnoxious. Just one more mix is all I want. Fine, I'll just do it without it. First attack. Am I dead? No, he doesn't counter. No counter. Interesting. things are looking good. If he doesn't counter me and he doesn't do anything different. I really wanted electric protection because I'm afraid if I get hit with a physical attack and 
lightning at the same time, I might die. But other than that, I should be okay. I may even have elixirs if I need them. <laughs> One paper cut at a time. Well, I'm hoping that if I drink enough power drinks, I can actually deal damage. Because I think they stack. At least they seem to on Reyna during the Omega fight. See if the stacking did anything for me. How's it going, Cannon? Alright. <laughs> not exactly the result I was looking for. Okay. Not exactly the result I was looking for. Wondering if that guardian thing is like making me deal less damage. Why did that do so much damage? I just tried to spell him. Stop it! Dragon. There we go. Okay, the spell worked, I think. I could probably do even more damage if uh, I was in front row, but I'm not going to risk it. Now the question is... How much health does he have, and is this going to take us all week? <laughs> but I think I found a strat, at least, that does, you know. That might be able to get me there. So you're telling me that I shouldn't unequip the Coral Ring? Because if I had the Protect Ring right now, I could just spam attack. Like, I would be safe. But instead I have to cure because I don't have the Protect Ring. Blizzard would have killed me if I take off the Coral Ring? What are you talking about? The Ice Shield protects me from Blizzard. I think Protect Ring was the play, guys. I should have... should have followed my gut. Unless he just randomly tidal waves at some point. Maybe his dying attack is tidal wave. I could totally see that being a thing. I need to dispel him again. Oh, we cast Evil Eye. That was a little spooky. But I have a... I have a, um... I have a ribbon now, so I shouldn't be able to get hit by it, I hope. Alright, boys. We only have ten minutes left of the stream, so I'm gonna have to ask. How much health does this boy have? Uh, 
Same as Omega? So, I'm doing about 1k a hit. I need to do 55 hits. I feel like that's doable. I've probably already done 15 to 20. I had mix. I kind of want to shadow flare him. And I also want to give myself lightning protection really bad. Oh, the damage! Hello. Oh man, I really wish I could front row. I'd be doing double damage probably, or somewhere close to double damage, but it's too risky. I need the elixir after this, next time I get hit. He has the Mazamoon because the Excalibur does holy damage. Ow. I need to cast a spell. Give me some blizzards. Dude, my heart is pumping. If we can do this, we can actually finish this week, which I was not expecting. Maybe, unless there's something else in the game that I haven't found that you guys are going to tell me about. But it sounds like this is it. It's good that the Game Boy Advance version has more, because that means if we ever play it, we'll have more to do. Come on, baby. Give me another crit. Uh, I'm not risking that much health. It's a little spooky. Come on, baby. How much damage do you think we've done? Maybe... Maybe like 30k? Ow. Kinda hurt. Less, you think? Oh, yeah! Let's go! Moon crit. Oh, 
You might be able to scan him. You could scan Omega, it just didn't give you a number. Seeing as though he has the same amount of HP, it probably still doesn't give you a number. I wish I would have gotten off that lightning protection before Ferris died. Yes! like tried to hit me but missed. Guardian, right? Yeah. That works out. Come on, baby. Give me some more crits. Yeah! Come on, Bart. Lightning can definitely kill because it killed me before. That could have been scary if that was a physical attack. Come on, Bartz. Come on. Secret. Oh my, that did some damage. See some crits. Oh man. Just throwing out everything now. Come on, crit! Come on, baby. I 
I know, what what the heck is Poison Breath's damage? It's like, <laughs> does 20 and then a thousand. I don't even understand what's going on with that attack. Knees weak, arms are heavy, because the Buster Sword is heavy. Mom Spaghetti! Where's those crits? We need those crits. We need those crits. We definitely don't need those misses. That's definitely what we don't want. Somebody call my mom and tell her I'm going to be late. Finally, some blizzard. Took you long enough, jeez. Can you throw me some more blizzards, please? Elixir soon. Uh... Come on. Come on, Barts. Come on. Please. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you here. Oh, the double hit. Oh my god, what is he doing? Stop that immediately. This could not be more tense, dude. Like, and he is just not giving me any room anymore. Like, this, I have not hit him in forever. Come on, crit! So bad. It'd be the perfect end. We could go into six next week. It'd be right at the end of the stream, just like for some reason that always happens. Yes! 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 Freaking yes! No way! I, dude, I can't believe it. No, I actually can't. This is not. I am not playing this up. I'm actually this surprised. Like, everyone in the chat said, definitely not happen this week. Like, definitely, we're definitely seeing more Final Fantasy V next week. There's no way you're finishing it today. I was pretty much agreeing, but I was like, I'm going to give it a shot. And then when I had to go shop, I was like, okay, now it's definitely not happening because I got to go to the shop and then come all the way back. And this was just like a shot in the dark strat that I thought might work. Everyone was saying I had to be like level 90. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe I got the luck. I Pretty good. This is by far the craziest moment of Fantathon. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god and I actually got something 
a sword that's really strong. Stronger than Excalibur. That would have helped not at all against Omega, because you can't hit him anyways. And I got a seal. Dragon seal. I can't believe it. I... <laughs> Let's go, guys! Final Fantasy VI next week! It's actually happening. Replenish lost nutrition from slaying dragons. If, if, if that isn't the perfect... If, if that isn't the perfect end to Final Fantasy V, just the most ridiculously stupid... <laughs> translation. Replenish lost nutrition from slaying dragons. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We did it! We actually did it! Oh my god. After all that... Alright, real quick, while I walk back to the save point... Um, we are now officially completely open to spoilers. I want to see what you guys have to say, because oh my goodness, it's been a rough, <laughs> it's been a rough couple weeks of stringing you guys along without being able to spoil. So let's see it. Let's let's hear it. We, there's nothing else to do, right? First of all, there's nothing else to do, right? There's nothing else I need to go do. There's no more super bosses or anything that I'm missing, or I think there's probably some, I, I missed some summons. But, um, I'm not really that, I don't really care that much about that. I could check them out some other time. I, I've had enough of Final Fantasy V, to be honest. Like, as much as I want to go get everything, like, I'm just, I am burnt out <laughs> from V. Uh, so what, what's Odin about? You go fight him? Is he hard, or is it just a regular fight, and then you get Odin? Yes, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm gonna read through all that in a minute once we're done here. Uh, I'm seeing that, uh, you can steal a dragon whisker from Shinryu. I don't know what the heck that does. Uh, you get dual cast from Red Mage, and Bear gets all the class abilities from classes you master. Reflect wears off with time, ribbon only protects against instant death. Petrify, Toad, Poison, Darkness, Old, Berserk, and Silence. Sorcerer's Flare Blade ups damage by 300%. Dragon Power raises your level. I was curious about that. I was wondering if maybe Dragon Power is why I wasn't getting flared. Uh, there's a small cutscene in the Pirate Cave. Maybe I'll check that out. Uh, Ranger has a fort times attack skill which cannot miss combined with rune sword for easy omega kill how's that an easy omega kill though does it just does it do that much damage apparently you can stop omega that's pretty hilarious is it like permanent you just cast stop and win because if that's the case, then I take back what I said about him being a good super boss, because if it's that cheesable... <laughs> that sounds really stupid. There's a tutorial room that I skipped that explains how bear works. When you master a job, the bear job gets its stat boosts and passives. That's why Krill could sword grab and Bart's had so much HP. So yeah. Mastering a couple more classes would have done me good. A 
There's an enemy on one of the islands in the first world called Prototype that's basically an intro to Omega. That's cool. Odin is in Jackal Cave. There's a crazy glitch with Mix where you can defeat pretty much any boss with it called Kiss of Blessing or something. It also does something weird when used in the Tree X Death fight. I'll have to check that out. Final Fantasy V has multiple endings. And I got the good ending? There's also Catablepus and Carbuncle, but they're missable. There's one item in the game that protects against Confuse. It's the Genji Helm, and you steal it from Gilgamesh. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of peeved that there's so many good steals because I was stealing at the beginning and couldn't find anything, and then I gave it up. Dragon Power raises your level by 20. Holy, that's not the. I thought it was raising my level by one, not <laughs> 20. Yeah, Catoblepus. That's how you say it. That's how I say it. Love song stops Omega. That's crazy. Magic Sword Bolt 3 and then use Ranger's 4x cut for like massive damage. That sounds really cool. Easiest way of beating Shinryu is by making a character a Time Mage with the Mix ability and cast Quick. Then mix Eye Drops and a Dragon Fang to cast Dark Side a Blind Shinryu. Then mix a Turtle Shell and a Holy Water to cast Bacchus' Cider and inflict Berserk. Someone else said that you can poison him? So if that were the case, I would have just poisoned him and then sat there and healed and I would have won that way. I'm so glad that we stuck to our guns because both strats I used to beat both bosses were really hype, and apparently there's a much easier way to do both bosses, so... I'm glad we stuck to our guns. There's a hidden piano in the village zone? Yeah, I figured I was missing a piano because the second to last one I got, or the last one I got, he was like, pretty good, but not like, perfect. The mix glitch breaks enemy AI. That's interesting. There's so much cool stuff, and I'm glad that I was able to, like, get through without it, but now I have so much to go back and check out. Golem blocks all physical attacks until its HP is depleted. That makes so much sense, because people are saying it's good, but every time I used it, it did nothing. It's because I was using it against bosses, which pretty much spam magic attacks in this game, except Shinryu. Shinryu is like the only boss that really did physical attacks. At least near the end of the game. Yeah, no, this is all great, because there's no reason for us to do that now. You know, it's it's better that we're moving on to Final Fantasy VI. I'm sure everyone got their Final Fantasy V fill at this point. But this is all stuff that we can check out when we play another version of the game. And we're definitely going to do that. After Phantathon is over, we're definitely going to try out uh, different versions of Final Fantasy V. Um, and we can do all this stuff and check out all the cool broken stuff. And I can... I can... We'll do it like on Twitch or even like I'll level up off stream or something so that I can actually master a bunch of jobs and like be super strong and, and check out everything. Um, because at that point it won't be a let's play so like we can just go crazy and just do crazy stuff. So that will be really cool. I think the only thing that I'm actually sad that I missed for the let's play is Odin but that's okay. I'm pretty, pretty done <laughs> with 5 so... Um, movers give 100 AP. That's cool. Same as the magic pots. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, I feel like there was one other thing. Oh, there was one other thing. One other thing. Sorry for the windows noises. One other thing. The 
This is what we're missing in the Game Boy version. <laughs> Instead of the garbage PS1 version. So, final thoughts. Um, I absolutely loved this game. Casually, the story was awesome, and I really like loved the the characters. Oh man, the horn! <laughs> uh, it was really, really the characters like captured me, and like I said. Final Fantasy is a lot about the characters for me, so this one really stuck with me. Um, now that I know that mastering the classes adds their passives to the bearer uh, freelancer class, that I, I feel like this is one of the best bet like mechanical games in the whole series. That is such a cool mechanic, and uh, trying all the jobs and mastering them and all that is just, this game was leagues above all the others. Like, leagues above 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so this is, this is easily, easily the best that I've played so far for me. And, uh, is gonna go down as one of my favorites. And then the post game as well is really difficult, there's stuff to do. There's the summons, there's the two super bosses. This game had it all. It truly did. Had it all. Had an amazing, amazing soundtrack. The best bright work I've seen in the whole series. One of the best mechanic, you know, uh, class mechanics. Um, had action battle, which is great, and even like different battle speeds and active weight. A great story, great characters, and it was it was a long game. And I loved the final part where you could go get extra weapons or just go straight for the final boss. That was such a cool way of doing it. I have very little to say bad about this game. Um, the only things I can the only thing I can say is the translation, which is this version's fault, not Final Fantasy V's fault. But this version, the translation, screwed me up in like three different places where it actually was hard to figure out what the game actually wanted me to do because of the translation. Most of the time, the translation was just funny and like, haha, I knew what it meant, but, you know, it sounded bad. But there was three different times where it actually, like, sent me the wrong direction. So um, that was unfortunate. But that's not Final Fantasy V's fault. That's PS1 version's fault. Um, so that's really all I have to say negative about the game. I, I, I think that maybe... The bosses were a bit too gimmicky. Like, almost every boss was a gimmick boss. I, I was kind of hoping for just, like, a... This is a difficult boss because he does a lot of damage kind of thing. And that, that's kind of the way the final boss was. But um, I kept waiting for, like, a boss where I could just kind of do a bunch of damage to it. And instead, it was like I was always trying to figure out gimmicks. And they used the kill all the enemies at the same time gimmick one too many times. There was, like, four different bosses where you had to do that. Three or four. Uh, so that I didn't like, um, but man, they, I, I'm, I'm really stretching to find stuff negative about this game because almost everything about it was amazing. And especially the replayability in this one is at an extreme high. Like the fact that you have all these different jobs you can pick from all the different weapon types, all the different characters, like. There is so much replayability here. I completely understand why the uh, fiestas are a thing. Uh, and that's very important for RPGs. A lot of people don't think about that when they rate RPGs. It's all about that replayability. Like, that is a big thing for these games. They don't have online multiplayer. They don't have difficulties, you know. So you need something to give it that replayability factor. And this one nails it out of the park, like... I'm ready to, maybe not right now, because I'm a bit, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm a bit burnt out, and I'm ready for Final Fantasy VI, but I would be ready to jump right back into this game and do it again very soon, um, especially a different version. But even if I just played this version again, and just did different jobs, and mastered different jobs, now that I understand more about how the mechanics work as well, um, I would love to play through it again, and put all that knowledge to use. Um, so yeah, 
man, I just absolutely love this game. I did not expect to love it so much. I expected it to be the last step before six. And now it's like, it's a whole different thing. You know, now I'm going to remember five so much. I, I, you know, so it was awesome. Thank you all so much for being a part of the Final Fantasy V Let's Play and, and being awesome. And I, this was... This one was really hard in terms of not backseating and, and not spoiling because it was such an epic story and there's so many mechanics in this game. So thank you guys for holding out as long as you did. Six is the last one. We have to worry about that. And then after that, for the most part, we can just, uh, you know, talk about everything and enjoy everything. Um, we'll probably c try to keep it like semi down for like eight, nine and ten just for other people that want to watch the Let's Play. Seven is like completely open. Don't care what you say about seven because the whole idea of seven is going to be this in-depth playthrough where we talk about all the mechanics and stuff. So seven is going to be a complete open book. Um, you know, the rest of them will probably just talk about stuff as it comes up, um, that kind of thing. But yeah, thank you so much. This was an amazing playthrough. Like I said, did not expect five to hit me as hard as it did. I nearly cried during the Gallif scene. I nearly cried ne during the ending. It was. It hit me, man. It was good. All of it was good. So thank you. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube until Final Fantasy VI, guys. We'll see you in the next Fantathon Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. Thanks again so much. We'll see you there. Peace out.